As we're building off of these basic shapes here, these were from Poe's book 3D. I'm starting with my main circle and starting with a rectangle shape. From there, once we know that to start with the basics and just blocking that in, then we can start to think about the spacing of where things may be. And you'll go in that sort of order. I'm just working down from my eyes to my nose to my mouth. You can make the mouths any shape that you want. You can make the nose any shape that you want. But this will set you up when you start sketching out the character. And I think this is a very important thing to really get in the habit of doing and establishing this. Eventually you'll find the more that you draw, you'll start from anywhere and because you have all this knowledge underneath you. Now I'm starting with an oval, almost like an egg shape and through here I'm just establishing my center line, my eye line as I'm wrapping it around the form and also the side plane of the head. This is one thing that I would encourage you to look at just these separate shapes. Look at the side plane of the head, look at the front plane of the head and see how they're really different and it moves in space. It gives the illusion that the jaw is moving backwards. And now I know that I can keep my mouth within that front part of the shape as I start developing it. And again, keeping in mind just the understanding that the head is gonna be tilted up and that's causing more of that shadow underneath. Also, keep in mind when you're drawing ears, they will follow the eye line, and if the head is tilted up, the ears will drop down, and if the head is going down, the ears will appear to be up. Okay, and then now I'm gonna start just developing more of my, my sketch aspect, my details that comes later. And here again, just starting with that quick oval, that's just establishing, think of it just as a, a ball, establishing the overall structure of the skull. And now I'm just even just pulling out just some of the face and the jaw just a bit. I didn't make it so sharp, but I'm still thinking about the side plane. And also what I'm going to do is keep the mustache, keep the muscle all on that front plane. So we have the side plane and that front plane as it gets broken up. And from here, you can really start to make up any character you want. But this will start to come more easily for you once you go through this process. And that's why I highly encourage you to make sure that you're really taking your time to learn these basic fundamentals in order to move you to that next level. And now starting this character, now I'm just making something up. I'm just drawing the woman's face here using that tilted aspect, but going through the exact same process through here. And it's really establishing the eye line because I find once I establish that eye line and I put my landing marks of how I know the head's gonna be tilted, that makes my whole drawing just start to work from there. I'm also very conscious when I'm doing this about not making everything so symmetrical, and that's what you'll find when you look at this. Maybe the one eyebrow is higher than another eyebrow, and those are things just to pay attention to. And lastly here, as I'm doing this one, starting just making the face even skinnier, changing the angle, <clears throat> drawing something just a little bit different here, and I can add just a little bit of an expression if I want to. Again, I'm keeping that mouth on that front plane, and then I can add my ears and all the other details afterwards. So this is really a great habit to get used to doing. I encourage you to practice always starting out this way, especially in the beginning, but you'll find you'll do it a lot even towards the end. <laughs>